summertime means spending time outside, which also means ticks. The CDC reports the number of tick diseases is increasing. Q2's Jenny Fick talked with the local expert to bring us more about these tiny bloodsuckers. The mobile stage of most ticks takes place during the spring and summer months. One of the fastest ways and the sneakiest ways for a tick to get in is to get on your shoe and go up the inside of your pants leg. Ticks have serrated parts in their mouths that puncture the skin and attach. Their saliva contains anesthetic properties, which explains why it's easy to not know they're there. A lot of these old wives' tales, you know, put the Vaseline on it, burn them with a you know, match or stuff like that. Probably isn't that effective. One of the first things you don't want to do is encourage that insect to push liquids into you because then that would tempt a little bit more trouble. Although uncommon in this area, ticks can carry Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. The danger of ticks is generally irritation to the site of the bite and the spreading of other pathogens from the blood of several hosts. Normally what you want to do is try to grab as close to the head of the tick as you can with the tweezers and just pull gently up until it releases. And then of course put the rubbing alcohol on before and afterwards to make sure you keep infection down. Ticks detect vibrations, heat, and odor to find a host. If you are going to go out in the country where there are ticks, is to be sure that you're wearing light color clothing. Uh, that helps you see them if they're on you a little bit quicker. Bites can lead to several bacterial diseases in animals, from fever and pain in their joints to paralysis and death if treated too late. Do check your animals for, for ticks and stuff like that because they do get on them as well. Try to eliminate any spots around your yard. I mean, if you've got some thickets and stuff like that and you're prone to get ticks, you might get out there and do some sprays just to kind of keep things down. It just makes picnics a little bit happier if you don't have to worry about that so much. In Billings, Jenny Fick, MTN News. Thanks, Jenny. And Grand Prix says keeping the tick in a container with alcohol can be very helpful to medical professionals should you or your pet start showing symptoms of illness. And she suggests to keep it in rubbing alcohol. Jay. All right. Thanks, Janelle.